What's going on guys? Rodrigo here, Breakfast Club CTG. We back in this beat. Today I'm going over how to stay on track during lockdown, part two. Let's get into the video. Tip number one is gonna be to stop snacking. It's probably the most crucial and one of the most important things I'm gonna cover today, but we all do it. It's something we don't really think about and it's really the deadliest thing you can do during lockdown is just mindless snacking. We all do it, we all love to snack. We all personally look like snacks, but at the end of the day, it's gonna ramp up your calories. It's gonna shoot them through the roof and honestly, it's pretty shitty because you're not really gonna be enjoying the food and the snacks you're eating. One, they're probably unhealthy. Two, you're probably doing it mindlessly. Three, you're not consciously like enjoying the food, but you're still getting all the calories. You're still gonna gain all the fat. You're still gonna feel like you're eating unhealthy snacks. So honestly, just stop snacking. It's just a big no-no, especially during lockdown, whenever you don't have as many activities and you're not as active. It can really make or break your physique, your diet, and how you feel about yourself, both mentally and physically. And yeah, it's just a big no-no. Don't snack, keep it limited. If you are, track it, have them set, planned out, but don't mindlessly snack. All right, tip number two, don't sit around all day. Get off Netflix, get off Nickelodeon, stop watching Teletubbies, stop watching The Bachelor, no more sex in the city, get off Get off your butt and go be active. Go on a hike, go on a run, go on a bike ride. Obviously, be safe, do what your city and parameters allow, but get off your butt and get moving, get breathing, get sweating, man. Who wants to be inside when the sun's out, the birds are chirping, and the breeze is flowing? So just get out, man, be active. Don't sit around all day. That's gonna help you burn more calories. It's gonna keep your metabolism ramped. It's gonna make the lockdown a lot more fun. It's gonna get your mind off food. It's gonna make everything a lot more fun, more enjoyable, and you're not gonna really feel like you're in lockdown. And it's good for your mental health at the end of the day. Something we don't really talk about, but it's something that's very important and it's gonna help you out with your mental health in terms of staying up, staying cheerful, and staying happy and positive. All right, guys, the next biggest tip is gonna be follow a workout program. The main key for loss of motivation, loss of workout motivation, and stuff in general is not having a plan, not having a routine. So I highly recommend you to jump on a program. That can be an ebook, that can be one on one coaching through me, that can be a program you see online. I post daily workouts on Instagram, so make sure you get some over there, save them, and do them. I post them almost daily, but jump on a workout program, and as long as you know that you have a workout to do the next day, there's a higher chance of you getting out, getting active, and killing a workout. So I highly urge you to jump on a program and stick to it stay consistent and just really know what you're gonna be doing and just having that is accountability in itself because there's no excuse you already know what the workout is you know what you're supposed to be doing and you know the benefits the results you'll gain from it so if you just don't want to do it that's up to you man so it's, it's really up to you you're gonna be the one bearing the consequences if you decide to skip out on it but whenever you do have this program man you're gonna be a lot more motivated especially if there's a community and competitiveness around it if you guys ever do my workouts on Instagram go ahead and tag me in them and also just post your time and let's get a little competitive man breakfast club baby let's go the next biggest thing is gonna be find a new hobby man find a new hobby go boogie boarding surfing biking mountain biking cycling shoot whatever it is volleyball tennis something you've always wanted to try but you haven't gotten around to it you might have extra time on your hands now obviously be safe but find a new hobby something that lights a fire under you something that's fun and it doesn't feel like a chore get out there and go do it man and just have fun do it with some family and friends while being safe obviously and just enjoy it man like getting new hobbies is gonna light that like almost kid-like fun and motivation in you it's not gonna feel like a chore it's not gonna feel like you're working out and it's gonna burn calories and that's what we're all trying to do at the end of the day all right the next tip is gonna be to try new forms of workouts i know that's almost like finding a new hobby but if you're used to bodybuilding try some hit workouts if you're used to crossfit try some bodybuilding movement if you never tried crossfit or high intensity work or you don't do cardio try throwing some cardio in try throwing some high intensity interval training in there try throwing a little bit of crossfit movements in there try throwing some functional work in there work on your mobility everyone can benefit from mobility it sucks it's boring but hey it's gonna improve everything and if you do it i promise you get in the routine you're gonna see crazy results from it man so try new things try new forms of working out stretching yoga whatever it is and just have fun man and just maybe it opens up your eyes to something that you love and you never would have known if you didn't try it all right guys this is something that i know works for a fact and that is calling a family member or a group of friends telling them your goals and 
having them keep you accountable. I personally had a group called the ASP, it was called the Accountability Support Program that me and my best friends did. We would all get in there every Sunday night, tell each other our goals, really just kind of recap on the past week's goals and see if we hit them and everyone called each other out on their shit and it kept everyone accountable, kept everyone moving forward, making crazy gains toward their goals. You guys don't have to have a program like that because it kind of can get stressful like hey I have a meeting this Sunday for my goals. It kind of does get stressful and kind of does get in the way of things sometimes. So if you don't really want to do that, all you have to do is literally call up a friend or call up a family member and tell them, hey, these are my goals. Can you keep me accountable? Can you shoot me a text at this time? If I don't shoot you a text at this time, like I'll give you $5 or something. It doesn't have to involve money, but just some sort of accountability structure that's going to help you out a lot. I know it works for a fact because I've done it and I've done it for the past like two, three years in some way or another just by holding myself accountable to my best friend, my mom, and at the end of the day, you don't want to let them down, but also it's like, hey, if I let them down, like what kind of person am I, you know? Having that accountability is powerful, so I highly urge you to reach out to a family member or loved one, friend, and have them keep you accountable. All right, guys, this is another big one, and it's probably gonna be a life changer. It's gonna help you get more girls, maybe get more guys, maybe it's gonna turn you into wifey material. Who knows, but this one comes with a lot of benefit, and that is learn how to cook. Stop eating out, we're in lockdown, you shouldn't even be going out in the first place. You run the risk of infecting other people, infecting yourself if you go to get takeout. I know we all love it, but hey, learn to cook. What better time to do it than now? Especially if you're a single guy. Hey, you need a date? Practice, you know, the safe parameters, but hey, if you can cook for a girl, Sold, man, that's a done deal. If you can cook for a guy, if you can cook for your man, that's wifey material. Put a ring on it. Like, the way that a guy's heart is through the stomach. I personally believe that, man. If she can cook, she loves and enjoys food as much as you do. That's wifey, wife her up. But learn how to cook, cook healthy meals, learn how to spice things up with different seasonings, different low calorie options, different types of vegetables, fruits. You can get so creative. For example, cauliflower pizza, spaghetti, squash noodles, low calorie ice cream, low calorie dressing, low calorie drinks. Obviously everything in moderation. Try to keep everything the whole food. Spice them up with different seasonings, different sorts of cooking in terms of sauteing, grilling, baking. You just get so creative and you guys will be surprised at how good the food tastes while still staying on track and staying healthy and still trying to get shredded. So I highly urge you guys, man, to stop eating out, learn how to cook. It's gonna change your life. All right, guys, if you guys need that next bit of accountability, that one step further, it's good to have your friends and your family members keep you accountable. You're learning how to cook and you're keeping yourself accountable. You want to know exactly what to do with your nutrition, I highly urge you to hire a nutrition coach. I'm a precision nutrition level one nutrition coach and it's what I love, it's what I'm passionate about. If you guys didn't know, I used to be a chubby kid, I didn't know about nutrition, I literally would work out and play sports but I just ate like shit, didn't really know what to put in my body. I had to learn about nutrition the hard way and all by myself and that's why I decided to get certified and now I'm just teaching it to you guys. If you guys need help with your nutrition, I'd love to help you guys out, apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. But needless to say, hiring a nutrition coach will be a savior and and game changer, especially during lockdown. You're gonna have everything dialed in in terms of what you should be eating, why, how to pair it with your training, and really get closer to those goals. You're gonna be having that peace of mind knowing that you're moving the needle towards your goals every single day and having someone to tell you on those low days that, hey, you're doing good, stay on track. I promise you, I've seen this before. You're doing the right thing. It's gonna be a game changer, man. It's gonna give you that peace of mind, that clarity, and all you have to do is put in the work. Get the training in, get the nutrition in, do what the coach tells you to do. Boom, man, have those accountability partners, your family and friends, like, hey, you're keeping me accountable. Boom, your nutrition coach is telling you what to do. The training program you're following is on point. You go back to the family members that are keeping you accountable and say, hey, I'm crushing it. Your coach is pumped on you. Your body's looking good. You're pumped with yourself. Everyone around you, you just have good energy, man. It's good vibes. This is a game changer. All right, guys, another personal thing that I've done since I started working out is take progress pics. When I was a chubby little lad, I would flex in the mirror. I would take photos and all this. I was I was hot stuff, man. I've been taking progress photos throughout my whole fitness journey, basically, and I can't tell you how much they help. On days whenever you're not feeling motivated or you're feeling kind of down or low, you can always look at those photos and say, dang, I looked good there. Dang, I was putting in more. Dang, the energy there was awesome. The tunes I was listening to at the time was awesome. Taking progress photos is really gonna keep you motivated. It's gonna keep you accountable and on track. So I highly urge you the best way to take a progress picks is first thing in the morning, either in a mirror, or maybe get some good lighting outside, have someone take it for you. I would get front, back, and side. You don't have to do it every day, but every so often, just take a photo. Take it in the morning, especially on days when you're feeling good. Don't knock the progress pick. It literally takes two seconds. Boom, swipe up, take the pick. It looks good. Save it for later, and then come back to it in a few weeks, a few months. 
shoot in a year. You can really see how far you've gone, how you looked, and just really reflect and just give yourself a pat on the back, honestly. And this is especially going to keep you accountable during lockdown because you're going to want to know the progress you're making. You're not going to want to backtrack. You want to want to get better forward. And honestly, when this is all over, you're going to be like, hey, I kicked ass during that time. So if I can kick ass then, I can kick ass now at whatever point in, in time you're at in your life. All right, the final tip is going to be to get out in nature. There's nothing better than getting a nice breeze, good view, and some sunshine in, man. Get out in nature. Go on a hike, man. Go on a walk, rock, a bike ride. Just get out in nature. Mother Nature is so beautiful and it really does great things for your mind, body, and soul. I truly believe that. Nothing better than just getting out there, feeling the breeze, just de-stressing and just thinking about life and just knowing that everything's going to be okay, that you're making steps in the right direction, you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of those around you, and there's really no better feeling than that. So I highly urge you guys to get out in nature, get active, get up, and get moving, man. Stay positive, guys. We're going to make it through this lockdown part two. I promise you guys we made it through part one, which was the hardest part. We're already used to it. We can bring it on. We can take it. Bring it on, baby. Let's go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button, man. I'm so pumped that you guys are following along this journey with me. The Breakfast Club, baby. You guys are family. The Breakfast Club family. I'm so pumped that you guys are following along this journey. Stay tuned for more videos. Two new videos every week. Go over to Instagram. Follow me there. Shots underscore G. Let me know you guys came from here. As always, Breakfast Club CTG. We have to be... Don't